Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? We're doing good. We have just went to Lowe's and got some garden soil and some topsoil to put in our raised beds. I'm getting some strawberries tomorrow from a friend, so I'm really excited. We all love strawberries. So our first strawberry patch is going to be right here and this one. I'm not sure exactly how many plants I will have or how much room they will need. But I also have these two old tubs right here. This is what we're going to put the uh, soil in in a little bit to get ready for the strawberries. All three of these are old watering tanks that were left on our farm. So I'm really glad to find something that is useful that was left instead of all the junk we've hauled off. Alright guys, this is the uh, end result. We have some of the mineral tubs from horses and cows that we have filled up. We have one up here. We have the big trough. We have the two smaller rubber ones. And then we have two more down here. I really don't know everything that we will have in those, but I can't wait to plant them. It's springtime and I've got spring fever. So, can't wait till tomorrow to get the strawberries and officially be started with our first garden things of our homestead. See you guys. I'm burying wood chips. That's not exactly wood chips. That's garden soil. Okay. It does um, look like wood chips, so doesn't it? What are we going to grow in that one? We're going to grow strawberries. 
Yay. Do you like strawberries? Mm-hmm. They're my favorite. They are. Where are we going to get the strawberries from? The rain and the soil. That's true. Some more soil over here. You need more dirt? Thank you. Hey guys, how are you this beautiful spring morning? I'm loving it. Sun's out, birds are chirping, and I'm getting ready to plant strawberries. I went to a friend's house yesterday, and she gave me several strawberry plants, so I need to get them in the ground. We prepared these raised beds a couple of days ago, and today's the day we start to fill them. Look how pretty that plant is. I'm guessing we'll get strawberries off of it this season. But if not, then it's going to have a, uh, a nice start for next year. <coughs> I've never grown strawberries before. So if anybody has any ideas or tips for me, let me know. I just know that I need to plant them probably about a foot apart. And they're going to get runners on there. And next year, that'll be more plants. Now, we do have drainage holes in the side of this old trough. And on the opposite side over here, it has a split in the seam going up through there. So... Anything extra will leach out, but I'm really hoping that these things do well. Our entire family loves strawberries. I will probably find some more plants other than just these, because once we start, we really don't like to stop eating. What about you guys? What's your favorite strawberry? Do you like an Everbear that uh, produces a lot during the summer? Or do you like the kind that produces mainly early in the spring? Mom, look what I'm the shovel. I made Dad wash this shovel. Oh, nice. Now it's clean. Oh, I'm glad it's clean. We can use it whenever we plant more stuff. Right now we've got the uh, strawberries planted and I'm watering them in. Give them a good start. I'll probably have to bring a couple more little water pitchers out, but we definitely want to give them a, uh, a good start. Like I say, I'm not sure what kind of strawberries these are, if they're ones that produce early or late or all season. I don't know if there's a difference in how they look or even in how they taste. My first experience growing berries along with a lot of other things that we're doing here on this homestead. But hey, thanks for coming along for the adventure. Bye-bye.